it's good. Man, that's what they've been looking for. Are you serious? 356 with a three. Good heavens. Number one qualifier in the Rodak A field. Mitch King, the Candyman, is number one qualifier in the Bone Shaker. And Mitch, I imagine it's been a while since number one and Mitch King has been together in the same sentence. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, a lot better to be in the penthouse than the outhouse. You certainly are at the top, being number one, stellar pass there into the 350s. Only 202 miles per hour, so there has to be a little bit more in your nitro machine. Yeah, I mean, I was out of it a little bit early, but we needed to try to get in at least the A field. And uh, after the test session we had, well, uh, we had to pay dues for about 30 hours try to get back up there. Yes, apparently a uh, broken steering issue, then uh, rear end, and then a little bit of cone action in one of the qualifying sessions. It was a journey to the number one spot. Well, if there was any dues paying, these, these boys did it. I can tell you that. Mitch King hoping to take the candy all the way to the win. That's right. Looking forward to it. on the left 366 on the right come and get you some of this you're looking at the randy meyer racing injected nitro funny car and the driver of it is miss julie natus and i usually don't interview the number three qualifier though it's a stellar pass but i think you've got a message for everyone because out here last year well some people said you couldn't drive this thing congratulations you're qualified in the a field at the classic Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we definitely done a whole lot better than what we did here last year. Um, I think I could say I've proven myself as a driver. Of course, I need a whole lot more experience in one of these things, but I've had to pedal it every single round, even on that 360 pass, so I'm ready for it. I think I can drive a funny car now. You certainly can. Speaking of pedaling, you're used to it in the dragster, and I noticed a post you mentioned that it, well, is more violent. Can you take us into the driver's seat and explain it to us, the differences? Yeah, the first tire shake, I pretty much blacked out, um, so I had to lift, of course. Um, the second one, you guys to kind of get used to it, so you pedal it, but in the dragster, you can barely even feel it. If that first tire shake was in the dragster, I probably could have just drove right through it, but it's different when you're sitting on top of the tire compared to out in front of it, so, yeah. Julie Natus and Randy Meyer Racing is looking for a funny car win.